Hey guys and welcome back to my makeup channel. So today I wanted to do this really sort of Christmas inspired makeup tutorial for you guys. I absolutely adore this. I started out and I wasn't really sure what I was going to do and then this happened. This just attached to it, to my face and I absolutely love it. It's like a glittery smoky eye which is like really sort of dramatic. Um, and I've got a lovely bold red lip as well and I used a new product for my lip today. I used my MUA Luxe London Lip Lacquer Velvet in the shade Reckless and I have a couple of these already and I purchased two more yesterday and I absolutely love these. If you can get hold of these, get hold of them because they are amazing. They are supposed to be like a dupe to the Velveteens by Lime Crime. I personally don't own any of those, but the product is amazing. And if the Velveteens are like that, then I would just adore those as well. So, like I sometimes say, my camera cut out partway through recording this tutorial for you guys. It cut out when I was then about to do my eyebrows. So if you want to see my eyebrows, I will leave a brow tutorial down below. Like I keep saying in recent videos, if you want to see an updated brow routine, then let me know. And it also didn't capture my blush and I used this blush right here in my palette and it is in the shade Gingerly. I then applied it with my F10 brush and blended it out with my Duo Fiber F15. Sorry, it's a really noisy lorry. And it also cut on my lips, so I just used my new lip lacquer velvet in reckless and i also used my beat lip liner just to go around the edges to neaten it up and then i went back over with this color and yeah that is my entire makeup look i believe so i hope you'll enjoy this i'm really sorry it cut out that last part for you but like i said if you want tutorials on these i do tend to add them in pretty much every tutorial you've seen me apply lipstick in thousands of tutorials as well not thousands but you know what I mean. So I hope you enjoy this makeup look as much as I do. I think it is absolutely stunning um, and I would be definitely rocking this around Christmas time. So if you want to see how I created this look then keep on watching. So I've just gone in and primed my eyes how I usually do before applying my eye makeup. I'm now going in with my transition shade which today I'm using a meager eyeshadow from MAC and I'm just applying that with a MAC 224 brush. I'm now going in with this grey shade here which is Scene again from MAC and I'm applying that with an E45 brush from Sigma which is just a very sort of precise tapered blending brush which just gets in and really applies the colour where you want it to go. So I've just applied this all over the outer corner and then I'm just going back over it with my 224 blending brush. For my main lid shade today I'm using Brulee again from MAC and I'm just packing that on with a large eyeshadow brush. And oh hey, I see you in the mirror. So I'm just going in and using my Sleek Conceal and Correct palette with my same, I believe, F75 brush from Sigma. To prepare my base today, I'm using my L'Oreal Skin Perfection Primer, which I'm just taking all the way down the center of my face where I've got large pores and texture. And then I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Oil Free Foundation Primer over the rest of my face. And for my foundations today, I'm using my Collection Lasting Perfection Foundation and I'm just mixing some of my Makeup for Forever in there as well, just because it was a little too dark for my fake tan. And I'm just stippling that all over my face with my F80 foundation brush from Sigma. going in and highlighting my face so first I'm going in with my Bobbi Brown creamy concealer and I'm getting it right in that inner corner where we can get quite shadowy and then I'm applying some more just underneath my eye and just tapping it out with my middle finger I'm now going in with my precision p88 brush which is just the flat angled kabuki and I'm just packing this into my skin I'm then 
just going back in my foundation brush and just blending out any harsh lines. And to highlight the rest of my face, I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15. And again, I'm just buffing that into my skin with my foundation brush. I'm going in with my usual powders, so I'm setting my entire face with my Maybelline Matte Maker Mattifying Powder in the shade 20 Nude Beige, and I'm taking that on a tapered face brush, and I'm taking my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder underneath my eyes. To finish off my eyes, I'm now going back in with that scene shade on a pencil brush, just running that along my lower lashes. I'm then also connecting it up to the side so it all blends together. I'm then going in with my E25 Sigma blending brush and smoking that line out. For my shimmer today, I'm using my Revolutions Metallic Foil Eyeshadow. Forget the correct name, but as always, it will be in the description box below. And I'm basically just taking this product on my ring finger and dabbing it over where we applied that brulee shade and then blending it back into my crease shade. I also did a little bit of an error while applying this. I got it onto my bottom lashes and ended up applying way too much for my liking. As you see, I try and balance up on this eye as well when I just made a complete error and literally covered my entire bottom eye in the silver product. And sorry, that's my dog sneezing. So then I went in and did a bit more on this side and to start off I was like oh my god I've ruined this whole entire look so I blended out of the concealer brush that I used earlier and then when I applied my eyeliner and lashes it all sort of seemed to come together so if you get to a stage and you feel like your look is going to crap just finish it and it'll probably look good <laughs> so for my lines today I'm using my Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Waterproof, Waterproof Coal Eyeliner in the shade Nude on my waterline and then I'm going in with the Collection Extreme Liquid Eyeliner and I love this eyeliner. It's in a felt tip pen format and I just love applying my eyeliner with this product. It comes out so smooth, so black. I hardly ever have to do a couple of coats with this eyeliner at all but it's just fantastic and I love it. So all I'm doing is creating a sort of medium thick line and then I am winging out on my outer edge. Now going in from Carbon by MAC and this is nowhere near as pigmented as what it used to be and it was quite a nice sort of dark greyish shade, it didn't apply really dark or heavy or anything so I just went in and built up the amount of coverage that I wanted on the outer corner. I just wanted to deepen up a little bit and connect all of the look together. I love doing this technique after I've done my liner so I know where to take the darker colour from and when to, you know, stop applying the dark colour. So I just went in with my 224 brush with no added product and just blended everything together. Then went in and applied some of that carbon shade to my bottom lashes just to deepen up a little bit so all of my eye was connected. So I just applied this along my bottom and then I blended it out with that same E25 blending brush as I used earlier. I'm going to curl my eyelashes, apply mascara and also apply some false lashes. So to finish my face I'm going in with Hoola Bronzer and a large contour brush from MAC to contour my face with. So I'm just placing this underneath my cheekbones where I just want some like shaping to my face. I also applied some around my jawline, chin and also down the sides of my nose. went in with my new NYC bronzer in the shade Sunny and I just took this on a large powder brush. I didn't realise it was going to be as pigmented as it was so I put quite a bit on my forehead to start with but you will see in a little while I fix it all. I'm also taking some down my neck as well because my neck has lost a lot of its colour than the rest of my body so I'm just blending it down my neck to match. 
and as you can see I'm now going back in with that tapered face brush with just a little bit more of that powder and just blending this bronzer out so it looks a little bit more natural and not as heavy. I'm now going in with this highlighter and it's from Revolutions. It's in the shade Golden Lights and I love this when I just want a glow to my skin. It's not as intense as MAC's Soft and Gentle but I just love it. It gives you such a glow from within look and it is amazing. So here is where I lost my footage, but as you can see, I just applied a red lip. I mentioned the products that I used in my first little introduction to the video, and I also missed my brow, so I will list a video link to my last eyebrow tutorial down in the description box. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I absolutely love this look. I'm actually still currently wearing it because I love it so much and I don't want to take it off. So thank you ever so much for watching and I will talk to you all very soon. Oh, right. Sun's in, sun's in. I'm trying to film. Uh, um, so today I want to channel. Sorry, that was really high pitched. Um, Going with this vamp shade.